This is kind of a bit of a random video. I wanted to show you my outfit of the day, of course, and I just had to get dressed up today, even for five minutes. But it's also just to say that, uh, are you okay? Um, I'm frequently not. I think that this is um, a really challenging time and we now live in a world where people that we've never met and will never meet and who are strangers to us are feeling like they're family. And uh, I think psychologically and emotionally, it's really crushing a lot of people, particularly empaths or creatives. Um, well, everyone really. And I just wanted to say, I hope you're okay. And if you need to chat or whatever, I'm always here by message. Um, but it's just a time I think that we need to come together, be really kind to each other and warm to each other. And particularly as women, I think we can be so hard on each other and uh, we just need to come together and, and be kind and warm to each other. And, you know, I'm so blessed to have such a beautiful community here, gorgeous followers who are so divine. I just love you dearly. So thank you for being here and hello to all of my new followers as well. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to say that to you. And I also wanted to say that it's okay to seek out things that uplift and inspire you. It's okay to do that. And I think it's important because it's just, you know, you're of no use if you're a mess, are you? And these people who are suffering right now just don't need you to be a mess as well. So I think it's perfectly fine to seek out joy. And I must admit, I'm struggling to create seemingly vacuous content of outfits at the moment. Um, but I'm going to continue because it makes me happy and uh, we need some happiness and I want to bring you any kind of happy I, I can. So I went for lime green today. I just had to nip over to Kmart to find my summer lunchbox. Now, do you find this too? Do you find that you go out to look for something and you can't find anything anywhere? I just want a plain black cooler lunchbox. <laughs> do you think you can find them anywhere? So I went to Kmart and I found this wall of them. And you know what? They were super gorgeous. They were like koalas and wattles and all sorts of beautiful things. And I got this one for myself because I thought it was rather cute. Uh, but I just couldn't find anything for my son. And then I did a bit more digging and I just ended up coming up with one of these. It's just a flat cooler, which is all he really needs. And I just got two of them because they were in the first one in five minutes. So, yeah, I found them in the end. And I also found some sheets. Can I do great sheets? All of the bamboo ones are always sold out, which is a real pain because I love the bamboo ones. They're just cooler. Uh, but this is just a regular sheet set and I just get dark ones. Um, yeah, because they just tend to wear better with him. So that's for my son as well. And uh, the outfit, I uh, just had to dress up. I felt like wearing lovely bright knit and I've resurrected this caramel and dress I haven't worn for probably 18 months or more. It's actually got really awkward sleeve length and I love this transitional time of year where you can sort of cross over warm, you know, warm, warm weather clothing like this dress uh, with cooler weather clothing or autumnal clothing like this knit. And I don't normally like a V-neck, but I love how this beautiful dress pops out from underneath this V-neck here. Um, works gorgeously. I've left the belt on that came with the dress, which is unusual for me, but I still think it looks gorgeous. Totally crushing on this, uh, you know, French tuck as ever. And then the beret. Oh my God, thank God for the beret. What would we do with our hats? Particularly when the last thing we feel like doing is washing our damn hair. So oh, miss wearing this beret. I adore it. I cannot wait to wear more of them. And beanies, of course. Then I just have a sandal on and this sandal almost matches the beret and then a little pop of brown at the waist. I did have my ecru bag as well. So that was my outfit of the morning. And I even love those little pops of gold happening here and there bit of edge as well. I did try several different shoes and there was one pair I really wanted to wear. I'm going to show you that my feet were a bit sore from yesterday so I ended up going with these because they were just comfort personified and I liked how they matched my um, beret. Did I call it a beanie? I always call berets beanies. Anyway, let me get you those other shoes and tell me what you think. All right, I'm back and I remembered that I had some thrifting to show you as well, so let's do that now. Now, don't be surprised, but I actually had many different choices of shoe. So let me show you the first one. Hey, voila, what do you think? Pink! <laughs> These are my pink Zara and I love a slingback. You've got to love a slingback. But how gorgeous is the pink with this beautiful green and all of that white? The only thing is they kind of hurt my feet because they're quite pointy. <laughs> so I didn't end up wearing them, alas, but... I'm just loving that pink with this. And then uh, because these were hurting, I thought I'd try another pink. But for some reason, these just didn't work. 
I don't know what it was. You might disagree. I think the pink is just a little bit too loggy for this. What say you? Oh, and another pair that I thought were kind of groovy and they're just a um, new arrival. And here they are, they are Whitner and they're very deep bronze, quite a cool bronze. What do you think about that? I didn't mind it, I just thought maybe they were a little bit too strappy. I don't know, it just wasn't quite gelling. But that was another option as well. And these are so comfortable, I was surprised. Okay, and then I have to show you what I thrifted. Could not believe my eyes when I saw this. This was just at the salvos. I hadn't popped in for ages. Look at this. Burberry, yeah. Yeah, Burberry London. It's just a little shirt. It is quite fitted on me, uh, but that's okay. <laughs> I'll make it work. But it's just a classic little Burberry shirt. It's in amazing condition. Um, it's clearly vintage. It's, it's old. Like you can feel that the fabric has... Um, you know, it's it's not certainly not new, but it's in fantastic condition, and uh, and I just I love it. I was so excited when I saw that. And then the other thing that I saw that I actually really love is a Liz Jordan. I don't normally buy uh, Liz Jordan. I mean, I don't dislike it. I just I don't know. I I just don't get attracted to much of it, but I admire what she does. But check out the pink on this. I wish this wasn't a split, but when I do put it on, it doesn't open, so that's okay. But I thought it would be great for layering over winter, that beautiful ice pink with like chocolate browns and greens, of course. Isn't that gorgeous? And then one of my finds of the decade, seriously, when it comes to thrifting. I often talk about coats that are very neat fit, that are almost too small, but you can still wear them fine and you can still do them up. This is unbelievable. It's only an Oxford. I mean, it's not, you know, it's not cheap and nasty, but it's not a Valentino either. But it is the most exquisite little coat. It's this pea green. And look at the detail on it. Look at the pockets here with the zip, the belt, the eyelets here. Beautiful stitching and panelling. The gorgeous deep cuff. Fully, fully lined. Uh, like truly exquisite. I, I was just going bananas. I actually looked at it and thought, I'm not even going to fit into this. I do fit it and I'll show you. It is quite firm on me, but that doesn't matter because I do want that streamlined look. Oh my God, it's, uh, just let me show you and you'll see why I'm excited. Now, I have two layers on with my arms at the moment, which is why it's looking awfully fitted, but I also have a layer on from COVID. Ah. So I also have an extra fat layer on at the moment as well. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you with the jumper on underneath because how gorgeous just colour on colour look. And this is something that I'm going to play around with as we transition into autumn, is I'm going to play around with doing a fully tonal ensemble, so all green or orange or whatever. It will do up. I love, 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 love the belt. I love that it's actually got buttonholes. Sorry, what are they called? <laughs> Eyelet holes for the belt. Can you see how streamlined that is and how incredibly slimming that is like it looks quite firm on me but it's actually really quite like i can move and it's actually quite comfortable check this out oh my god and look at the look at the collar look at the collar and the detail here with the little loops oh it's just you know this is why clothing brings us such such joy it astounds me that some people think that uh, fashion or style or clothing is shallow it is not it's a soul thing you know it's it's in our blood we just it just brings such happiness. So, um, oh, this coat. Oh, oh, oh. I mentioned I love this coat. And I particularly love, because I'm not a huge button person, I love that it's got a placard over the front so the buttons can disappear. I love the pockets on the side. Oh, oh, it's just pure heaven. Let me just try it without the knit on underneath. All right, you can see here. See, that's a much better fit. It's loose on my arm now. <laughs> Sorry. You're going to see a lot of this in upcoming videos, this coat. It better get cold quickly. Isn't that beautiful? It's just beautiful. And the other thing, of course, is if you have a really neat fitted coat like this and you can't fit any jumpers underneath, you can always wear the jumper, of course, draped over the shoulders, can't you? Around the neck. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, oh, I'm so excited. I also have to tell you about the skirt. Do you remember uh, the Forever New skirt that I spoke now published on recently in one of my videos, like three, four back? 
I soaked it in acetone for like six hours, then it made a bit of a difference and then I ended up just washing it. No, actually, no, I soaked it in that, um, you know that stuff that, um, what do you call it, vanish, the vanish thing. Soaked it for like another six hours, then I just washed it and it came out really quite pale. Can you see there? The only real big problem now is here, a little bit here. And then I dried it and then I added um, bleach and the bleach does nothing. Like it doesn't even move that kind of stain. So I'm going to keep researching, I'm going to keep trying, I'm going to try peroxide and a few other things. Lucky this skirt is pale. But I'm so excited because potentially I'm going to get it back to how it was because it's one of my favourite skirts, so I'm very excited. Anyway, that's it, that's all I've got to say except um, you're appreciated and uh, thank you for being in my life.